What does it mean to be advanced? Is it technology, culture, energy? What if I told you there's a scale that could measure the advancement of an entire civilization based on energy consumption? More intriguingly, what if humanity were a type 1 civilization? Buckle up because we're about to explore an electrifying concept. The Kardashev scale was born in the mind of Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. But why did he create it? He was exploring the idea of civilizations beyond Earth, and he wanted a way to categorize them based on something fundamental, energy consumption. The scale is broken down into several types, ranging from type 0 to type 3, with hypothetical types extending even further. Type 0 is a civilization that harnesses a fraction of its planet's energy. That's us, currently around 0.72, still relying on fossil fuels and fragmented in our energy approach. Type 1, mastery over all of the planet's energy resources. A true planetary civilization, Type 2, control over an entire star's energy such as our sun. Type 3, control over an entire galaxy's energy. A civilization of this magnitude would be almost godlike in its capabilities. Hypothetical types. Beyond Type 3, there are speculations of civilizations that could control the energy of multiple galaxies, the entire universe, or even multiple universes. Why use energy as the measurement? Well, energy is the currency of the universe. It fuels life, powers technology, and enables growth. The more energy a civilization can control, the more advanced it becomes. The Kardashev scale is not just a scientific tool, it's also a philosophical concept. It has influenced science fiction, futurism, and our understanding of what's possible. We, humans, are in the infancy of this cosmic scale. At approximately 0.72, we've begun to harness our planet's resources but have a long way to go. The path to Type 1 would mean a complete transformation of how we generate, distribute, and consume energy. The Kardashev scale doesn't just measure energy. It reflects our aspirations, our potential, and our place in the cosmos. It's a roadmap to what we could become, a challenge to grow, and an invitation to dream bigger. And as we explore this hypothetical path to Type 1, we'll uncover questions about technology, ethics, society, and ourselves. The very definition of a Type 1 civilization centers around total mastery over all the energy resources of its home planet. It's an idea that's both exciting and awe-inspiring. But what does it mean in practical terms? In a Type 1 civilization, energy would no longer be a scarce resource. Every form of energy, from solar and wind to geothermal and hydroelectric, would be fully harnessed. Imagine solar panels not just on rooftops, but in massive solar farms. Wind turbines not just on hills, but floating in the sky. Geothermal plants tapping into the very heat of the Earth's core. This civilization would operate with 100% renewable energy, leaving no waste, no pollution, and no resource unutilized. A Type 1 civilization would have the ability to manipulate weather patterns at will. Droughts, floods, hurricanes. These natural phenomena could be controlled or even prevented. The power to create rain in arid regions or divert storms away from populated areas would be a remarkable demonstration of humanity's mastery over nature. This control would have profound implications for agriculture, urban planning, and the overall stability of our ecosystem. To reach Type 1, humanity would likely need to transcend national borders and conflicting interests. It would require a level of global cooperation and unity unprecedented in human history. Think of a world where political boundaries are blurred, where global policies govern energy usage, and where humans work together to manage and distribute resources fairly. The sense of identity would shift from nationality to a shared human experience, a planetary citizenship. The infrastructure of a Type 1 civilization would be astonishingly advanced. Cities would be designed with total energy efficiency in mind, integrated with transportation systems that use clean energy, and built with materials that minimize waste. Imagine cities where buildings generate their energy, where roads charge electric cars as they drive, where waste is a thing of the past. Urban landscapes would be harmonized with nature, not in conflict with it. Lastly, achieving Type 1 status would likely transform our relationship with the natural world. Rather than exploiting nature, we would learn to coexist with it, managing it without destroying it. We would become stewards of our planet, 
protectors of the delicate balance that sustains life. In essence, reaching Type 1 would not just be an advancement in technology, but a profound evolution in our values, ethics, and vision for humanity's future. A Type 1 civilization is not just about harnessing the energy of an entire planet, it's about the incredible technological advancements that such energy mastery would enable. Let's explore some of the fascinating possibilities. First, consider transportation. The ability to generate and store vast amounts of energy would lead to transportation methods beyond our wildest dreams. High-speed magnetic trains that crisscross continents, personal flying vehicles that eliminate traffic, space elevators that provide easy access to orbit, the sky, or rather space, is the limit. Transportation would not only be faster, but cleaner, more efficient and more accessible to all. Next, we would likely see significant advancements in medical technology. With virtually unlimited energy resources, medical facilities could employ advanced AI, robotic assistance, and personalized treatments. The ability to understand and manipulate biological processes at the molecular and even atomic levels could lead to cures for chronic diseases, personalized healthcare, and perhaps even a new frontier in human longevity. Health and well-being could be transformed in ways that are hard to even imagine. In a Type 1 civilization, technology would also transform education and information access. Think of global networks that connect learners from all walks of life, holographic classrooms, AI-guided personalized learning, and virtual field trips to historical or even extraterrestrial locations. Education would become an immersive and universal experience, breaking down barriers and fostering global understanding. Moreover, the buildings and cities themselves would be marvels of technology. Imagine self-sustaining buildings covered in solar-absorbing materials, vertical farms that grow food right in the heart of the city, advanced recycling systems that allow zero waste, and smart urban planning that blends architecture with nature. The cityscapes of a Type 1 civilization would be breathtaking combinations of art, technology, and ecology. Beyond our planet, this civilization might also embark on extraordinary space exploration. With the technology and energy capabilities of a Type 1 civilization, interplanetary travel could become routine. Colonies on Mars, mining on asteroids, exploring the outer reaches of our solar system, and perhaps even interstellar travel could be within our grasp. Lastly, with these technological marvels, we would likely see unprecedented innovations in entertainment, communication, and social interaction. Virtual reality might become indistinguishable from physical reality. Art and creativity could be expressed in new dimensions. Human connection would transcend physical location, fostering a global community where distance is no longer a barrier. When considering a Type 1 civilization, one of the most thrilling prospects is the potential to explore not just our planet, but the cosmos itself. How far could we reach? What wonders might we discover? Let's delve into the uncharted realms of space exploration and interstellar travel. As a Type 1 civilization, our mastery over planetary energy would open doors to space technologies we've only dreamed of. The entire solar system would become our playground. Imagine regular missions to Mars, research bases on Europa, mining operations on asteroids, even tourism to the lunar surface. But that's just the beginning. Interplanetary travel would be the first step. Advanced propulsion technologies, such as nuclear or even antimatter engines, could enable spacecraft to traverse vast distances at incredible speeds. The limitations of conventional rocketry would be a thing of the past. The dream of venturing beyond our solar system might also become a reality. While Type 1 civilization primarily signifies control over a planet's energy, the technological advancements it would bring might set the stage for exploring nearby stars. Missions to Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri, or other intriguing exoplanets could be on the horizon. Of course, interstellar travel would not be without its challenges. The vast distances between stars, the need for life support systems, the effects of long-duration spaceflight on the human body, and the intricate navigation required for such journeys would pose significant hurdles. However, the innovative spirit of a Type 1 civilization might well rise to these challenges, developing novel solutions such as generational spaceships, hibernation technologies, or even the theoretical concept of warp drives. Scientific discovery would flourish as well. 
Telescopes could become so advanced that we'd see planets orbiting distant stars in remarkable detail. Robotic probes could be sent to the furthest reaches of our galaxy. The search for extraterrestrial life would be intensified, driven by new technologies and an insatiable curiosity. Moreover, space travel would likely become an integral part of human culture and identity. The shared experience of exploring the cosmos, learning about our place in the universe, and reaching for stars would unite us as a species. It would redefine what it means to be human. The possibilities for space exploration and interstellar travel in a Type 1 civilization are boundless and breathtaking. They invite us to envision a future where our home is not just Earth, but the entire cosmos, where we don't just look up at the stars, but travel among them. It's a dream that inspires awe, a journey that beckons us to explore, and a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. If we dare to reach for it, the universe may well be our next frontier. As we embark on the journey toward becoming a Type 1 civilization, there are critical questions we must consider that extend beyond technology and science. This path brings with it significant environmental and ethical implications. The harmony we hope to achieve with nature is both an aspiration and a challenge. A Type 1 civilization would require complete mastery over Earth's natural resources, but mastery does not have to mean destruction. Imagine a world where we control the weather, not to conquer nature, but to protect and nourish it. Think of landscapes where technology and ecology blend, where urban areas grow without harming the natural environment. The environmental stewardship of a Type 1 civilization would mean understanding our ecosystem as never before, nurturing it and working with it rather than against it. Yet the power over the planet's energy would bring enormous ethical responsibilities, equality or disparity. This is a question that would echo at the core of this new civilization. With such great power over energy, who would wield it? How would we ensure that it's not concentrated in the hands of a privileged few? How could we guarantee that energy, a once scarce resource, would be distributed equitably, reaching every corner of our globe, every human being, regardless of socioeconomic status? These questions would define our journey and shape the ethics of a Type 1 world. The pursuit of this advanced civilization could also lead us into uncharted ethical territory in areas like genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, and even our definition of humanity itself. The balance between progress and ethics, innovation and responsibility, would be a continuous and complex dialogue. Furthermore, the cooperation required to reach Type 1 would necessitate a re-evaluation of our current political and social systems. Could we overcome cultural barriers, political divisions and national interests to work together as a single united species? Could we build a society where collaboration, compassion and empathy overshadow competition, conflict and fear? These are not just hypothetical questions, but real challenges that we would face in our journey toward Type 1. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video today.